Hi everyone, today we are gonna to prove this equality for all a more than 1. Let's start. Let's express a as a sum of 1 and d where the d more than 0. In next step, we plug in just instead of a our 1 plus d and uh, to the power of n and this one we can um, write as a by using the binomial theorem uh, and we put just instead of a in our case 1 and instead of b in our case d in next step we just put um, we just calculate c n 0 uh, in this case uh, that's the n factorial divided by n factorial and we can cancel out them uh, and uh, multiplied by a uh, zero factor and let's give a uh, one after that we will put instead of an um, i one uh, instead of i one so we have n factorial divided by n minus one factorial and uh, n factorial is now equal n multiplied by n minus one factorial we cancel factorials and remain here only n divided by one factorial of course multiplied by our d to the power of 1 mm, so in next step we put instead of i2 so n factorial divided by n minus n minus 2 factorial and uh, of course we again uh, write, um, express n factor as a uh, multiplication of n minus 2 factorial n minus 1 and n so after cancel out factorial remains in the uh, top n product of n and n minus 1 divided by and instead of uh, i we put 2 that's a 2 factorial and that's equal to and uh, multiplied by d to the power of 2 and so on as you see all add n here positive because uh, our d also uh, positive and uh, n also so for this reason we can write uh, this add and we can uh, we, we see that uh, this sum equal this add and plus some positive um, values so we can uh, write that's a, um, more than only this add and so that's a true for all n of course more than 2 uh, it's obvious that n minus 1 more than n uh, divided by 2 for n all n uh, more than 2 it's obvious we can check it by putting instead of n any value more than 2 uh, so in next step we just instead of this here we put we plug in n over 2 and we have um, this value more due to this uh, sign than and we just put instead of n minus 1 n over 2 so we have this type of expression and we plug in instead of d uh, by using this equality a a minus one so finally we have a to the power of n more than n squared multiplied by a minus one whole squared over four we will uh, use this uh, inequality in our other uh, proof of uh, uh, this uh, calculation of this limit uh, we are going to prove this equality and uh, we use uh, this inequality in our other uh, proof so let's look to the case when k and um, less and equal 0 in that case n to the power of uh, some negatives that give us um, 1 over um, uh, n to some uh, uh, to some power to some positive power 
ok so for example to the power of p and uh, in that case it's obvious that this limit go to the zero because that's a um, uh, product of one over a to the power of n with uh, some uh, uh, with uh, one over n to the power of some positive uh, number so it's obvious for k k uh, less than equal zero then k equal one we put instead of k1 so we have this type of fraction and instead of a to the power of n we put this one so uh, 4 goes to the top and uh, we can cancel n with this one so we have this type of fraction and when uh, and go to the infinity these fractions goes to the zero so for case k equal one also our limit goes to the zero because from the left hand side and right hand side it goes to the zero let's look to the, to the case when k more than a zero so in that case we can write this our fraction by this way uh, because if we um, put out of paraphrase 1 over k uh, we can uh, just uh, cancel k and k and by this way we get same fraction and it's um, obvious uh, that uh, a to the power of 1 divided by k more than 1 because base more than 1 from the uh, condition of our uh, equality and uh, that's some positive uh, value 1 divided by some positive value so uh, that's uh, more than 1 so for this uh, reason um, for this reason uh, we get uh, we have same fraction as in the previous case just here is instead of a we have another a that's also mm, as in our previous case more than one so it also goes to the zero for so for case k more than zero also we prove that this limit goes to the zero by this way we totally prove our equality uh, so that's a proof of uh, that that was our task so if you have any question please uh, write them on the comments thank you for watching